Welcome back. We're back. Episode two. I feel like this should have been our first episode, but True. here we are. We're doing it. We're doing it. Um, intros today, getting to know us, what we're about, who we are. I'm the cool one. <laughs> she's the she's the outgoing one. I'm kind of the reserved one. Right. I feel Introvert. Like... Oh, no, sorry. Introvert, extrovert. 100%. That's one thing you'll get to know about us for sure. Um, but yeah, I'll get started. So my name is Tandi. Um, I was born in Zimbabwe. We moved to the U.S. when I was 10 years old. Um, I am the second oldest. I'm the oldest girl in my family. Um, yeah, that's kind of my intro there. Cool. <laughs> Did you say where you were born? Oh, um, Marondera. Okay. So Marondera is in Zimbabwe, pretty close to the main city of Harare. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. And Dylan, born in New Hampshire, living in New Hampshire, raised in New Hampshire, born and bred here, baby. <laughs> Live for your die. That's, hey. <laughs> that's the that's the logo for New Hampshire. And I pretty much lived here my whole life. Yeah. I lived in Massachusetts for a little bit, Rhode Island for a little bit, yep. but basically just here in New England. Love it. Love it. Mm -hmm. How did we meet Dylan? college college in new hampshire i mean how did, how did a family from like zimbabwe end up in new hampshire that's what right right so really for us actually i'll kind of go into that story so w my dad went to SNU, um which is a college in new hampshire um so he yeah, he got like a scholarship yeah he got a scholarship and then we moved the whole family over to um he moved the whole family over to the u.s so that's how we ended up in new hampshire and haven't left ever since <laughs> it's actually still interesting because our whole family still is new hampshire so yeah, both families yeah yeah all right so how did we meet dylan how did we meet do you guys want dylan's story or my story <laughs> my story is i'm short short and sweet so my story is we met at college university of new hampshire that's correct basically we met on the first day i was just minding my own business trying to play some basketball and she came over and invited like me and a friend to lunch. So that's yep. how I kicked things off. And then we didn't really, I mean, we were, we stayed friends for like a year yep. or so. Yep. And then started dating or like, I don't know, college was like a, that was back in, we went to college in 20, 20, 2010 right. to 2014. Yep. So it was a while ago, yep. but it was kind of like, I don't know, we were, Figuring it out in college. But college? that's my story. Well, uh, before I even start my version of the story, right? I just feel like college was a hard time to date. Like, I'm glad it True. worked out for us. But, like, college, trying to, like, get to know yourself and trying to get to know your partner. I mean, in college where you have freedom. Like, I grew up in a very strict family. So, going to college, I was like, woo! You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I feel like trying to get to know Dylan, trying to get to know like my independent self was definitely a roller coaster. I always tell my sisters that like, please don't date in college. Please don't date. But I'm glad it They're worked out for us. They're past college now anyway. <laughs> They're past college. For me, I But I feel like too, for, for you, she always kind of knew what she wanted. She was like focused and yeah. kind of had a plan for her life. Like yeah. she knew what she was doing for work, her master's degree and like yeah. even she was ready to like get married i feel like you okay you're so extra i mean there. you were like ready to you were ready to commit you knew what you wanted no i saw i was kind of like... like confused still <laughs> i was yeah. like I definitely know. definitely was i mean was i was confusion. enjoying i was enjoying life i feel like honestly when i saw so yes we did so i yes correct we met on the first day of college I, you know, we walked by and I saw him playing basketball and me and my friend, Sammy, shout out to you, Sammy, um, literally were like, oh, let's invite them to eat with us. And, you know, obviously we're like young, we're like 18, they're not going to say yes. And when Dylan said yes, I was like, whoa, okay. But it was interesting because at that lunch, Sammy looked at me and she literally was like, you're going to date him. And I was like, no way. But the funny part of the story is walking back after lunch, I didn't know he lived in my dorm room. And he lived doors down from my mm -hmm. door. So, like, walking back, I was like, oh, my goodness, he lives here. And honestly, like... Her, her dad, Liberty, didn't like that too much. <laughs> when he came to visit, he was like, this is a co-ed dorm. <laughs> Poet Florida, he wasn't about that. He did not like that at all. Like, I remember he's like, why are they men in your dorm? You know what I mean? And honestly, I feel like we started off with a really good friendship mm -hmm. and really became, like, 
best friends and then it turned into the magic we have today the badgers here we are yeah. you know what i mean yeah, yeah. but yeah but still i do stick on that like i'm glad it worked out for us but college is definitely a hard time to date right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i agree so um next careers what do we do Start it up. i'll go first um so i am love to make reels on instagram <laughs> That's, your that, main, that's that's my identity i feel like i'm just joking. um so i work as a nurse practitioner i've been a nurse practitioner now for about five years so i worked as a pcp so i did primary care um and i had a good amount of patients taking care of them as a whole and now i really focus on wellness so i would do a lot of functional teaching people about their bodies and also talking about stress and diet and things like that that's Ooh. awesome how much how much school do you have to go to for being a Nurse and, practitioner. Yeah, so after my four years of college, I went to three more years of um, college to get my master's. So a total of about seven years. But also remember that once you graduate from the four years of nursing, I had to have two years of experience um, as a nurse to finally go into NP school. What do you do, Dylan? Cool. So she's more educated than I am. I just got my bachelor's degree. And now I work in uh, sales and account management for like a software, health and well-being software company. Yeah. Um, but my main thing is like finances and real estate. So that's what I do on the side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we own some rental properties. Mm -hmm. We own an Airbnb. We just kind of been getting into that. And that's what I really enjoy doing. So yeah. most of the time I'm listening to finance or real estate podcasts all the time he's listening to finance and real estate he's always trying to be the financer in our house and telling me to decrease on the shopping <laughs> so he's he's we do, we're a good balance though we're a good we're balance. definitely a good balance that's one thing like <clears throat> i feel like besides me being like the extrovert and being like the crazy i'll go in you know and you being like the calm to my storm i feel like mm -hmm. we balance each other out perfectly you know okay. what i mean okay. what do you like to do for fun fun uh i like playing sports okay i like watching sports that's a big one like i said finances real estate business that's a lot of the things i'm interested in actually when we first when we were living in the dorm together they had us all bring like oh something like to get to know each other in the dorm or in the floor like everyone had to bring something that's like important to them or yeah. special to them i brought my soccer cleats because i'm a big soccer and let's person. guess what tondi brought what did she bring? Her phone. My cell phone. I literally sat there and was like, my favorite thing is my cell phone because I like to talk on the phone and take pictures. Yeah. I mean, but now? See, it sounded kind of like lame, but she's actually a lot cooler than that. She just wanted to try to come across as being... As being, being cool or being like that girl i feel like that was the biggest thing like in college you're trying to fit in so much and i i talk about this a lot on my instagram in terms of like me letting go of trying to fit in and just kind of being myself mm -hmm. and how that has like set me free because that was like an act of me just trying to fit in right. you know what i mean hey, it takes time yeah we all try to do that uh, but yeah, then I'm, I'm, I am like the outdoors, super active, yeah. um, like to do hiking or, you know, uh, go to the gym, things like that. Um, so that's kind of me. I like to hang out with family, yeah. you know, friends, socialize, do things like that. Yeah. So how about you? Um, I love to dance. Um, I love to talk. I love to be with family. I love to eat. I feel like sleep. I just like to so sleep. I love to sleep and socialize. Let's just kind of summarize she's like, it there. If we're out and about, she's at like a hundred, being the party, and then if we're home, she's like <laughs> knocked out. Sleepy girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's hard to be a sleep. Love to sleep when you have two kids. You know what I mean? Yes. Two kids. Let's introduce our kids. Oh yeah, we forgot. <laughs> yeah. Talking all about us. Yeah, go ahead. So two kids. Um, Ayla. Mm -hmm. Um who's our crazy toddler um she is two and a half acts like she's 20 talks back to me like she's 15 um really really tests all our patients but is the most loving kindest just best big sister i mean she blows me away every single day mm -hmm. you know what i mean like I, I feel like i don't even know what life was before ayla you know what i mean yeah she's got it's so hard much to joy. imagine so yeah, much joy into our is. lives and then little anaya over here who's mama's she's always on me always Sad on thing. me um she is eight weeks 
almost, almost yeah. eight weeks now. Um, she is a breastfeeding queen. Um, loves to just be cuddled and just like a little sister. Like she's living that little sister life. You know what I mean? She's enjoying it. Yeah, we're both off work right now right. currently. Yeah. On leave, we go back soon, so yeah. we're just kind of enjoying family time together. Yeah. And yeah, yeah it's been awesome. It's I'm been I'm definitely outnumbered. One guy, three girls, but I honestly wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't. Me yeah. too. I feel like, yeah, it's just, I mean, yeah, it's been an awesome journey so far. It has, and we're only two and a half years into it, which <laughs> seems crazy. Things but. we like to do together, traveling. Travel. What is our favorite places to travel? What would I say? Hawaii. <laughs> We like Hawaii. It's a long flight, but we've we've always we've just found such a yeah. love for Hawaii, and of course, well, it's good like, for kids too. Because like right. with, when we took Ayla there, Anaya hasn't been obviously, yeah. but when we take Ayla, she loves it because it's just going to the beach. Yeah. It's like a slow pace. Yeah. Um, Soon going to Zimbabwe. Yeah, that's our hope to, to really go. Zimbabwe. It was hard with COVID, um, and everything. I mean, for us, we dated. Dylan didn't propose. It took him eight years to propose to me. So that's a topic for another day. But really for us, I feel like we got engaged. We got married. COVID happened. We started having kids. Like everything happened in a frame of three years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So really for us, oh, no, it's okay. Um, Really for us, like going to Zimbabwe is really our next big priority. Yeah. I really want him to meet, you know, my, I have a lot of family back home. Like my mom has eight brothers and sisters. My dad has four and I have a lot of cousins. Um, so it's, it would be really nice to get back home and introduce my family and excited about that. Dylan taking Shona lessons, um, working really on working it. on that, but yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's our big trip. We're going to try to get back to Hawaii, yeah. but then definitely Zimbabwe and South Africa probably. Yeah. And what is our last little topic is what is the goal for our YouTube? I feel like for us, the goal is for people to really get to know us and really the beauty of our two very different families, as you can see, coming together and us being an interracial couple and what that looks like and what that is for us and just really sharing with people. I feel like YouTube will give us that opportunity to make those longer videos and touch on those deeper subjects. Yeah. And I think yeah. Anaya says that we're done. Anaya says it's a wrap for the day. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.